Today is a bit of a gamble. The whole day was supposed to be clear skies and no clouds, but instead it was partially cloudy all day, so I thought that it would perhaps be a good sunset today. Now that I'm beginning to walk towards the location that I thought to use, I can see that there's kind of a lot of clouds coming in. So I'm really not sure if there's going to be any good light at all during sunset today. But I guess a gamble like this is what it's all about actually. I'm being a landscape photographer. You really have to go out even on the days where it looks like it might not be anything. Because those days could easily be the best days. The best light, with the best sunsets, with the best everything. The clouds have covered up a lot more than I'd hoped for. There are these kind of nice uh, light rays shining through at the horizon. But I'm not really sure how, how I could incorporate them uh, in, in the way that I first envisioned to shoot this place at least. But there is a real nice movement here in the water. Kind of a little bit of waves. So I might try to use those in a way that could be good for this. The clouds aren't too, too interesting, so I'm not gonna focus too much on them. I'm trying to bring the camera down a bit and focus on the interest that is actually happening here. It's gonna be a challenge, but it's gonna be interesting. So let's see what we're gonna be able to do with this. Well, I found another composition here that I think might work uh, pretty well. I'm gonna use a real long exposure here because the clouds are moving well this way and I'm gonna be able to streak them out completely, I think. And we have some nice calmer water in the foreground. Or it's kind of mixed, so I think this could be a kind of a nice composition. I'm gonna have to see, it's gonna be a real long, maybe two to four minutes. So I'm gonna start that now. So I framed everything now and it's running a 4 minute long exposure. I tried one at 30 seconds first and it didn't really, well it wasn't bright enough, it was quite dark. But it might be a good sky exposure if I blow it out on 4 minutes. This really isn't what I had envisioned when I, got, when I decided to go out today. This is more what I hoped for this morning when I was out. A bit of waves and a bit of wind. But, no, nothing has been as it's supposed to be today. Well, I think I managed to get two good exposures, one for the highlights and one for the shadows. So I think I have something to blend in post, and it looks pretty nice actually. Now I'm going to try to find a, another composition where I don't put my life in danger. Because where it was, it was so slippery that I almost fell into the water, and who knows, one could hit the head. Whatever, something bad could happen and I don't want it to happen. I really would have liked to use a polarizer as well as the tail stopper to really smooth out everything and get 
away some of the reflection in the wet rocks. But when I have screw on filters and wanting to use the wide 16 millimeter on this 16 to 35, I get too much of getting, so I can't use two filters. But for now, I'm just gonna have to be satisfied with with the just the smooth water. I think it looks pretty anyway. Might have looked even better with the polarizer, but can't get everything right when you're when you don't have everything. Packed up the camera. I decided that I'm satisfied with the two exposures that I got. Um, light levels are really starting to drop down now, so I'm just gonna start to head back to the car and drive home. Get some coffee, some food, get up the some warmth in my body again. Today. As I said in the beginning, it was a real gamble, um, but I think it paid off. Even though the results were nothing like what I've imagined that this shoot would be like. Um, but I'm actually really satisfied with it anyway. This is shows that even though you don't know how a sunset's gonna be, and even if the sunset is actually quite dismal or there might be something else that can work and can turn out to be really nice and be really pretty and that's really what being creative is all about I guess finding that beacon of purity in just a sea of noise and well when you do you're really happy. So I'm really happy now. And even though I'm really cold, I'm still very happy. Anyway, that's it for this time. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe for more. Like it if you liked it. I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.